Why you do this, bro? Why you buy this sneaker, man? Why? Like, man, are you, are you applying for a football coach position or something? Or are you getting ready to go to the retirement home <laughs> just to blend in? Alright guys, I know it's a little bit late, but I did decide to jump on this sneaker and you guys probably already know what it is. It is the ultimate dad shoe, the Nike Air Monarch. Now before I get to you, I just want to say a really big sorry to, um, her name's Karabo. I actually spent her handle wrong in the actual previous video and I'm really sorry for that. Anyway, here's a real one and go check out her work, she's got really good stuff. Um, because yeah, because I just want to really help people out. <laughs> I accidentally spelled her name wrong and then I don't know if you guys were still able to find it. Anyway, let's get back to this review. Now I'm going to ask you guys, have you ever wanted to look exceptionally average? Or did you want to ever look like a football coach? Or did you ever want to look like you live in a nursing home? Well, I've got the shoe for you. <laughs> yeah, all jokes aside guys, this is a sneaker that has definitely grown on me. This is the ultimate dad sneaker. And seriously, this is the all-time best-selling, one of the, well, sorry, one of the all-time best-selling sneakers for Nike. So I'm not surprised why they actually did bring it back. If you guys ask me, man, like, bro, would you buy this sneaker for 40 bucks? I would probably would have said no straight away when it first came out. But now it has come out. And guys, I bought it for $88 on ASOS. And to me, that was a pretty good bargain because I did want to, I did see it. They did grow on me. Like they just, this, this like sneakily snuck up on me and, you know, just grabbed a hold of my like little sneaker heartstrings and just, uh, you know, it got to me. So I ended up buying these sneakers and seriously for 88 bucks, that's a really cheap sneaker. This was actually, I think this was going for more in other websites. I'm not, I'm not really sure, but yeah, 88 bucks on ASOS, can't, couldn't go wrong with that. I'm really happy with this actual purchase. So before I continue, I just want to say this straight away because I usually forget it in my actual reviews, but I want to talk about the sizing. The sizing of this actual sneaker is very snug. Uh, it kind of embraces your whole foot pretty thoroughly. And I would probably suggest that you stick, stick, but stick to your true to size. If you're normally um, a nine, go for the nine. Uh, I've got wide feet, I probably have to say that, and um, this this was perfect for me, I don't know. Like, but when you look at it, it's so chunky. Seriously, look how big it is, it's such a big shoe. Uh, I've, I've obviously used it guys already, I try to clean it up, but you know, that's how it looks. Seriously, it is so chunky, this is such a chunky shoe, it's so big. Um, and when you put it on, your foot feels so secure, it's like it's not going anywhere because look at look at the amount of materials that's on this thing. I'd be surprised if your foot was ever like slipping. It won't be doing that because, you know, it's such a well-made shoe, no joke. That's why, you know, uh, they decided to bring it back after all this time. I know some, some of the younger generation might be looking at me and like, man, these look so so old school and like I'm with you they do look so old old school but there's just something about them that just uh, you know it just gets to me I still can't believe I actually did buy it because I thought yeah when these first came out I was like man I wouldn't I'm not buying those bro bro I'm not buying those but look at me now <laughs> I guess the jokes on me I also want to say that um, these sneakers did apparently come in two different width sizes um, you know there's like a normal uh, how do I say it there's a normal width and then you can get the wider width I think I got the wider width one I'm not really sure I don't know what the uh, you know the normal width looks like or if it actually indicates it anywhere but when I looked in here I don't know if you guys can see you've got the detailing for the air monarch art oh, seriously I only wear it twice and it's kind of you know the detailing's frayed already but um, inside you can see the letter D. I think that's the actual, um, you know, width of the actual, or the width, width sizing of the actual sneaker. Uh, but don't quote me on that guys, because that's just what I, I saw from uh, previous, uh, you know, reviews and stuff. But anyway, let's get into the actual sneaker. So as you can probably notice over here, it is an all white synthetic leather upper. It looks cheap, mate. It looks cheap. 
I don't know, just the way that it's put together, it looks like it's solid. I don't know, for some reason, it, like, when I look at it, it does look like a cheap shoe. But, it just looks so sturdy. And it feels sturdy as well, so. It's original laces come with these oval white laces, just the standard ones. I don't know if you can see around the toe box area here. It's got all these different kind of detailing and stitchings. It's got this weird little design here. I'm not really sure what that's for, but I think it's just, um, I don't know, the way that they cut it together to try to create like some sort of like cool detailing there. I really don't see why they did have to put that. Oh, it's a little dirty. It's better. As you can see at the front down here, they do have ventilation holes because it is a huge sneaker. If you wore this during the summertime, your feet would probably get like really sweaty. So they did include all these other more ventilation holes around the sides there. I don't even know if they work. <laughs> they got the white heel tab here that you can pull and it's got the blue stitching on the side. Very useful for when you're putting on your sneakers. I really, I'm a really big fan of these kind of pull tags. They got this shiny, really shiny, um gray swoosh stitching over here which is uh you know i'm pretty uh, yeah i'm a fan of that it looks cool kind of matches the whole aesthetic of the sneaker if you guys didn't know that this actual midsole is phylon foam this has been used in multiple like new releases as well uh, so you know you could tell that you know not, since nike's still using it from way ages ago and they're still using it now is uh you know just a kind of testament to nike and their actual you know engineering team because you know it was good back then and it's still really good now they probably improved it they're just still using it that's just how good it is it's got a full air sole unit inside somewhere in there somewhere in here somewhere honestly when i first picked this up i thought it would be way heavier but it's actually surprisingly light mm. but in all seriousness guys when i put these on uh, I was walking around the city and my feet were so, you know, they, they were comfy. I mean, they're not like Epic React or Ultra Boost comfy, obviously, but they were very, very snug. My feet felt, you know, they, they felt at home because it's so cozy inside because it just, you know, it just wraps your foot like so nicely. That's probably the best way that I could put it. And on the actual outsole, it's nothing really special. It's just black and white and just kind of this average herringbone detail you have here with the Nike swoosh. Also, you can see the detailing of the Air Monarch on the actual tongue. This is like a mesh material down the actual throat area. This is um, really thick. It's like a really thick tongue and you can feel it. It's like, it's just really super thick. I don't know, it's, it's actually pretty comfortable. I like it, I'm a fan of it. It's got this pull tab here as well. I don't know if you guys can see it with the blue uh, you know, check mark there, the swoosh. I don't know if, uh, I don't know how I feel about the outsole being black and then the actual detailing of the actual upper is blue. It could, even this, you know, this detail here with the air, it's in black. I don't know, maybe it could have been better if it was just all just blue, none black. It's also got this detailing here, which says full length air. Full length air. Sometimes it just baffles me, like, wh why did you buy this, Mark? Seriously, why? <laughs> but I did. My bad. No, but seriously, it's like, it's, it's solid sneaker, guys. For 88 bucks, it's, you know, it's not a bad play. And another thing about this is that it's very minimal. Like, the design technically is very, you know, it's just subtle enough. It's, it's really good to wear casually because you can match it with a lot of outfits, like blue denim. But for performance-wise, I'll probably, I'll probably, tell you not to go running in these as they there are better options out there for you to choose all right sorry guys you can run in these but just me personally i know that i have better sneakers out there that are more specifically engineered for running so i'd rather use those but you know these these could do the job i remember actually really bagging this sneaker when i when it actually first came out onto like the sneaker uh blogs and all these kind of stuff i was like thinking man this is never gonna take off these are horrible <laughs> these are horrible shoes don't buy it but seriously they have grown on me maybe it's the kind of videos that i've seen people wearing them and they look so dope i don't know it's just i don't know it's, it's like it really expresses your in individuality like wearing these because if you can pull this off mate you are rocking you you are one good looking dude or you can you got style bruh i can't really pull these off but 
it's just the way that I feel in them that that's why I really like them. I know there's a lot of you young cats out there that'll be like, you know, hating on this actual sneaker. But what if I told you guys, what if Kanye actually designed this shoe? Would that change your mind? Because technically, if you look at the Yeezy 700s, all right, and these Air Monarchs, they're technically very, very similar. What do you guys think now? They're both kind of dad shoe inspired and because Kanye designed the other one, the 700s, people go crazy for these ones. But you know, that's because of his name. But you know, if you put, take away the swoosh, take away the name, and then just put, I don't know, Yeezy supply or whatever on it, people will go crazy for these. So, you know, don't always just think about what's hype. In the end, you gotta look at the actual design and if you actually like the shoe. So these are available in multiple websites. You can actually go to uh, some of the Nike stores, Foot Locker stores, or even JD Sports. Th this should be available there. Uh, I'm not really sure about the other retailers, but there are a heap of websites that actually sell this, including ASOS from where I actually got it from. So now that we've actually reviewed the actual sneaker, let's get onto the on feet review. So guys, please actually give me your actual thoughts of this actual sneaker in the comments box below. I really want to know what you guys actually think. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. But before I go, I just wanted to say as well, um, I will be at SneakerCon. Your boy will be there. So please come and say hi. I don't bite. I actually love interacting with my actual, uh, you know, my audience and all my followers. So, you know, come by, say hi and uh, take photos, you know, I will repost your photos on my socials and uh, you never know, I might even put it in the actual sneaker card video. And also guys, I wanted to give a really, really big thank you because I did hit 300 subscribers. Oh my God, I am so thankful. Thank you to each and every one of you. 300 subscribers is probably really small to other people. It might be a really puny number, but to me that's, that is huge. Seriously, I never thought I'd be able to reach this much people. And I just want to thank each and every one of you. And by doing that, I will be doing a giveaway. It's it's a beneficial one, I would probably say. It's not the hugest like kind of giveaway. But if you want to find out about this actual giveaway, just to, for me to say thank you to you guys, I will let you know in the next video. So please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you can actually get notified when the next video comes up because that's where the details will be actually um, posted up. And uh, you know, if you like the content that I did today because I worked really hard for it, this is a really hard actual sneaker to actually review guys, seriously. <laughs> so give me, please give me that big thumbs up in the actual, you know, that area there and I, once again guys thank you so much 300 subscribers is huge for me other people might you know brag and say that that's puny but seriously guys it's it, it it's it, it warms my heart thank you guys so much and uh, i hope to see you guys in the actual next video peace <laughs>